Hey, Nick, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to help small business owners and even IT managers and enterprise folks understand what is the difference between the Office 365 and the G Suite are what's now called you know, Google Workspaces. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, uh, it's a big dilemma. And Microsoft and Google are constantly changing all of their applications, all of the titles to their SKUs, um, and and they're reworking the features. You know, constantly trying to to keep up with one another. So I think it's something that um, organizations, residential home users, um, and large enterprises are all you know thinking about right now right so with google workspaces or g suites what it was used to call uh, what is the difference between those type of users than your office 365 microsoft's users is it how many users you have how many employees what's what is the main from what you've seen the difference between one selection over the other so there are there's so many differences and we can go in so many different directions when you talk about where Google and Microsoft sit side by side in comparison to one another nowadays. A year ago, maybe even six months ago, the comparison would be a little bit more drastic. Um, now Google, as you just mentioned, has you know changed their SKUs and their features to Workspace, Google Workspaces, and they've really ramped up their Google Chat and Google Meet um, capabilities and also so his teams on the Microsoft side. So I think really where they start to diverge and where businesses will start to um, make a change or make a decision is when it comes down to, as we discussed on our previous video, the uh, extracurricular applications and the, um, the peripheral applications or integrations and plugins and business systems that will be more compatible with a Microsoft file and environment, for example, as opposed to a Google file or environment. Um, you know, Google Meets and uh, Google uh, Chat is very, very side by side nowadays, in my opinion, using both platforms, having experience in both Teams chat, Teams, Teams file sharing, um, and video conferencing, you're going to get that same experience. And, and where you're going to really draw the line, though, is above 250 to 300 users. That's where both video conferencing platforms might have a little bit of a limitation. And that's where some organizations are layering on a Zoom in order to accommodate the higher user base or organic out, outside or external users coming onto a webinar. So. Um, really what I, what I feel it comes down to is ease of use, allowing that user at the end of that workstation to adopt the application, to adopt the use and all of its features and functionalities in the most efficient manner. And I think Google will always be the easier interface. It will always be the more, um, user friendly as they say. Uh, because it, it, in terms of the way that it appears and the way that it, it, it scales down and, and, and flows, it's less complex. But sometimes people would say it's less capable. So because of that. So I think that um, really you're going to get a lot of the same. You're going to get file and doc sharing. You're going to get Google Collaborative Sheets, Google Sheets, and, and the equivalent in Microsoft is SharePoint. Um, you're going to get Google Docs. Um, you're going to get multi-factor authentication, um, Azure information protection and active directory. So I think really there are so many different things. And another last uh, statement that I'll make in, in your determination is security. Um, security is imperative to today's market and environment as phishing malware and virus attacks are happening at a more rampant pace because our users are at home and they're using devices and they're signing in from multiple locations and it's hard to control. So if you're a large organization and security is a concern, right now, what I will say is that uh, Microsoft is making a lot of headway in their enterprise mobility and security. And I could see them taking market share back from Google on the security aspect. Um, and that might be an area that you want to be.
is to feel secure around your email, calendars, and contacts. Gotcha. One of the things you said earlier was about ease of use and how Google makes it really easy to use. And that might be a determination for those companies that have less than 250 employees. Uh, what type of, why is the, the user experience for Google is different than the Microsoft Office 365 experience? I think that the way that, you know, emails are labeled um, the way that you access all of the different applications with Google. Um, it's a little bit more small business intuitive. Um, and it is, you know, with a Microsoft or a Windows computer as opposed to a Mac computer. Um, I'll, I'll use this metaphor. On a Mac computer, you have your, you have your desktop, your interface, and it's kind of click and go. It's as simple as what's on your screen, is there for you, click and go, and, and it will operate. With, with Windows, for example, you have to open up the start window and go to application. And you have a, a large laundry list of applications. And a lot of those applications might be more dynamic, but getting there, right? Getting there for the user, navigating the actual interface. That's what I mean by ease of use in terms of, um, from a Microsoft standpoint, there may be more uh, glitz and glamour and features and functions. But for some users, if they're not using them, the ease of use comes with Google. It's a simpler window, simpler interface. And so they feel more comfortable in that environment. And for the um, more the enterprise or medium and larger businesses for the Office 365, what are some of the main things that they're looking to do because it sounds like most of the smaller businesses are looking for more of an email management platform and the Microsoft Office 365 user are more of the shared files. Am I right on that? Or is there something different that they're using? I think that with Microsoft, when you have more of an enterprise or maybe a mid-market uh, company, for example, who wants to take advantage and, and make sure that they get the most out of their, their Office productivity tool, what you'll find is that Microsoft is more built out in terms of its applications like Excel, um, in terms of applications like SharePoint um, and OneDrive, uh, as well as a lot of the email platform functionality and calendaring. You'll notice that it has more uh, more built out features in terms of what the user can do to customize and uh, configure their settings on their own. Um, I think that within the Microsoft environment, it's more suitable for the mid-market in my opinion and the, and the enterprise because it has, uh, I, there are more needs at the mid-market and enterprise level in general as a business. You have more customers, you have more employees, you have potentially more products and offerings and more departments. And so you need that dynamic scale, scalability and dynamic, uh, you know, compartments within a Microsoft environment, as opposed to a, a more simple Google environment. What is SharePoint? SharePoint's a file and document collaboration platform where, for example, if I have an Excel sheet or, or some sort of document that I want to throw up into the cloud, and multiple users in real time can be working on that sheet. Uh, I can actually see if, if John Doe in, um, in Nebraska is working on the sheet and changing the cell value. And if I'm doing something at the same time, he can see simultaneously what I'm doing on the sheet. And this prevents, you know, someone working on a document, finalizing it, saving it, sending it to the next person, they're working on the document, finalizing it, saving it, and sending it back. It, it, it reduces a lot of time spent on collaborative efforts. Gotcha. And for, uh, is something similar to Google? Do they have that? Yeah, so Google Sheets is gonna be their equivalent. Uh, Google Docs, um, and Google Sheets is really gonna be the, the, the strong equivalent to SharePoint. Um, and you're going to be able to collaborate. And you're going to be able to share between a, a large subset of groups and any people are allowed to make, you know, edits that keep that edit in the cloud. And so when the next person opens the file, it's, 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 uh, it's updated. It's there for them based on what the last user had done. 
so yeah, I think they're pretty similar functionality. Um, I wouldn't put one over the other, in my opinion. And what about price? I think that Google's always gonna win on price in terms of office productivity, which therefore is why a lot of small business and mid-market companies go towards Google initially and they scale into Microsoft because it's as you grow your company, you're, you're increasing your budget. So therefore you wanna start off with low budget um, features and Google is gonna be cheaper, plain and simple. Plain and simple, there you go. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Thank you, Nick. Really appreciate it. And, you know, I look forward to talking to you again as we kind of build out uh, this series of understanding, you know, what is the difference in these different applications between Google Workspaces and Office 365? Perfect. Thank you, Kendall. I appreciate the opportunity. You got it.